it is me and my Akio tea. And after feeling like it's the last time that the Chamber of Secrets opened, it feels like it's been 50 years, we finally, yes, finally have our LitJoy Magical Subscription Box Wizards Tournament, and I am so, so excited. It feels like literally years since I've ordered this box, and definitely worth it. I mean, just check out the box. We've got Harry and the Hungarian Horn Tail. On the bottom, we have our Goblet of Fire. We have Crum in his uh, sharkish form. We have Ron looking at Fleur Delacour at the Yule Ball. And we finally have mention of the Sphinx from the maze. I'm still miffed that they cut that out of the films. That was the maze was so good in the books, and we got living hedges. Anyway, without any more further ado, let's get into our box, shall we? So, you shall be the first one to see. Oop, and there we have our Triwizard Champions right there. And let's open it. Da, da, da. So, first thing I see right on top is our, as River Song would say, spoiler card. And uh, I love it. This looks like it's a wizarding newspaper. So fantastic. I shan't look at this until the end. So first off, I am going to be opening up all my add-ons. I think I got just about all the add-ons. I didn't get the puzzle, but I think I got everything um, besides that. So first thing is up. Oh, we have a return favorite, and I'm super excited to get it because I missed it the first time. It is Gillyweed, and it is actually a candle. Let's see if I can open it. Ooh, so it has a little bit of plantish material in there. And it says it is garden herbs, green roots, and wet earth. Hmm, that smells beautiful. Almost like a smell after a nice rainy day. Up next, we have some pins. The first one is part of the Critter collection they're doing this year for LitJoy, and it is a fabulous dragon. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. We have the little adoption card on the back, and it is the Hungarian horn tail is the most ferocious of all dragons. It is aggressive, angry, and would do anything to protect its offspring. And it is beautifully done in this enamel pin. Absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to put it on my Harry Potter pin banner. Speaking of pins, happen to have a, another one here. Nothing on the back, but the front speaks for everything because, oh, only Lit Joy Crate could come up with a Victor Crumb with his shark head pin. I mean, that is beyond hysterical and unique and Crumb's looking pretty good. <laughs> I cannot wait to, again, put that on my Harry Potter pin banner. Up next, we have our magical keys. I got both of them and I don't know which one's which, so we shall find out together, shall we? So opening it up. I should say Alohomora and <gasps> Ooh! so it is the Bobaton Academy of Magique and as we can see it is just the beautiful Bobaton blue we have the key <gasps> Ooh, which is very very heavy and very unique because it is almost like a little corkscrew so we have the Bobaton um, crest there. We also have Fleur de la Cour's entry into the Triwiz tournament. And it's so pretty and delicate. And lastly, we also have the beautiful carriage. Oh, and this is even more better because the wheels actually spin. I love the detail. And on the back it says Alohomora. Splendid! So, since we know that this is Bo 
Tong, the boba tong, key. We know what this one will have to be. And ah, yes, here we have it. The Durmstrang keys. And we have a Durmstrang little um, pin banner. And it wiggles. Very, very nice. We have the Durmstrang key. It is the same on both sides. And the little key part at the bottom looks like a D for Durmstrang. Very cool details. And also we have the Durmstrang ship. <gasps> Ooh. And the little sail actually is um, canvas and looks so realistic. That is so cool. Love the details. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Let's see. I think that might be all of the add-ons. Possibly. If there's more, I think I'll remember. So, up next we have our items for our box. So first up is a flat item, ooh, and it is metallic, and I believe this will be a bookmark, and it is so cool. Alrighty, yes. So it is, oop, you can just see everything in there. Hello, you can see me. <laughs> okay, so if I put it at this angle, it should be better. So it is the invitation to the Yule Ball. It is metal. It is fabulous. And very, very, very shiny. Ah, spectacular. I shall put that here. Very nice. Up next, ooh, we have another little regular um, pin badge kind of pin. Oh, cool. So I don't know if I can get this really good on camera. So on this side, it's, it says Cedric... Degree is the real Hogwarts champion, and then, let's see if I can get it to shift. On this side, it says, Potter really stinks. Ah! That is hysterical. A little bit tricky to read, but once it gets going, it is hysterical. Very, very good. Ooh! Up next, another pin, and this one is splendid. Again, another thing I don't think was in the film. Or maybe it was, but it wasn't mentioned much. We have the one, the only, the annoying, Rita Skeeter in her bug form. If you're familiar with the end of the book, we know that Hermione catches her and puts her in a jar. And there she has her little glasses and a little quick quotes quill and a piece of paper, writing down things that people think is a private conversation, but she's really listening in on. Oh, that is splendid. I wish they did more of that in the film. Up next, ooh, we have a very pretty box. So on this side, it is the maze. On this side, we have He Who Must Not Be Named and the Triwizard Cup. And let's see what is inside. Oop, okay, so it's uh, open here. Uh, trying not to rip the box or break a nail. Yes, I have ordered more Hollow Taco, and that shall be a video for next week. Ooh! <gasps> Whoa! All right. So, this is really, really cool. It's a little marble maze. And we have the Sphinx there, Triwizard Cup, Blast Ended Scroot, Dementor, and Harry. All the things that were in the book and, again, not in the movie. But, oh, this is so cool. It's the one where you have to move the tiny little marble and not get it to fall down the hole. This will be hours of me frustratingly trying to solve it and being very happy when I do. Or just setting it on the shelf because it looks so dang cool. All right, up next. Ooh, we have some boxes. I'm going to set this over and pick them up. So, ooh, it looks like we have some cards down here on the bottom. We have our artwork for this box. 
which is absolutely splendid. I adore the artwork for this go around. Ooh, we have our little action adventure card, and it is the Mer People. And here's all the little info on the back. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. And we have our really big items next. I am super excited. What should we do? Should we do really big box or small but really lovely box? Let's go really big. Uh -oh. Also, there's something I have to say. This is going to be another giveaway video. I'm super excited. It seems like ages since I've done a giveaway. Oh, let's first look at our box. So all the information for the giveaway will be down below, but one of the big things is make sure that you are subscribed and that you like and share and comment on this video. And also, even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, I'm asking a little favor. If you could like this video and leave a comment, I'm wanting to see if the algorithm actually ooh, pays attention to likes and comments or if it just kind of brushes them off. So I've been running an experiment with certain videos. So please leave a like and even if it's just a smiley face, leave a comment too. Ooh. So first things first, we have a saucer right here, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is the Grandilos. So this is from the Lake Challenge. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so delicate. I don't know how this didn't break. Oh my gosh. Oh. Be still, my tea-loving heart. I am going crazy. Next, we have a cup. We have crumb here, and oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. There's Harry with his gillyweed feet, oh, and there's Fleur with and Cedric with their bubblehead charm. So then next is it teapot? Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Okay, I'm in love with the handle for one. It is so dainty and lovely. There's Hogwarts. We have Owl. And we have the creature inside of the Black Lake, which I hate that they don't put in the film. Again, there's so much good stuff that they cut out of the movies. Ugh. But that is gorgeous. I love that LeJoy added it. And then lastly, we have the stopper for the top of our teapot. And it's more of that lovely, delicate pattern. So basically, it's the whole lake challenge. So we have the above water, below water, and then the Grundy Lows is the terrifying creatures of the deep. Oh, I have to be careful. I don't want to drop this. That would just happen to me. Finally get something I absolutely adore, and I immediately break it. I'm excited for this. We have a box. It says, Come seek us where our voices sound. We cannot sing above the ground. <gasps> it is. It's the egg. Oh my gosh. It's super heavy. So gorgeous. It has a wrapper around it, so let's get that off. And it feels like... Does it open? I think it opens. I'm not going to be in a bathtub just to open it, though. Ah, how do we open this? Help. I need Cedric to tell me how to do this. Ooh, is that it? Oh. So it does open up so we can put little trinkets inside or just have it displayed sitting open. Oh, that is so brilliant. Wow. Okay. I am so impressed. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Wow. 
Litjoy, you have seriously outdone yourself this month. Holy cow. Okay, so let's take a look at our little spoiler sheet, and then we'll talk about the next theme. Okay, so there's the front. We open it up, and we've got the A. we got Reader's little beetle, beetle pin. The Potter Stinks badge. Little art print, the Yule Ball bookmark, the beautiful T for one set. I am so impressed with that. And I guess shout out to Seaside Spirit who designed it. Oh, beautiful artwork. Our adventure card with the Mer people on it. Our little maze, our key key add-ons, and next month's theme. I'm super excited. Um, so the sales for this theme will be, or the renewal day is July 1st, and it'll be shipping at the end of July, which I'm excited because it's my birthday month. <sighs> Magical Express. Oh, you know I'm not wearing my Hogwarts t-shirt. Hogwarts Express t-shirt for that is going to be featuring items related to traveling on the Hogwarts Express, including what to pack, iconic moments that occur on the train, and homage to the train itself. Yes, so j renewals are July the 1st, and add-ons will be the 4th of July, but I am so, so excited for that theme. I love the Hogwarts Express so much, and I really hope there's something highlighting the little trolley witch that does the best job of passing out candies and treats. Oh, yes. <sighs> well, everybody, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this Lit Joy Crate unboxing. Again, what was your favorite item? Leave a comment down below. And if you're interested in picking up any of these items or your own subscription, I have a $5 off coupon, which will be linked down below. And also, don't forget to enter my giveaway. Don't forget to check out the rules and do them all. And make sure you're subscribed because I will be checking. So, ah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you're interested in checking out another video, you can click right here. It if you are new, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Knox.